hello students in the previous videos we saw about the embedded system its core the interfaces its applications and uh, the other components which are required to operate so they are all uh, very important so along with that the equally important are the characteristics and the quality attributes of embedded systems so let us see one by one what are all the characteristics and also the quality attributes of embedded systems the first one is the characteristics of embedded system the first one is application and domain specific so as we all studied that embedded system is designed for a specific task right it might be the application specific or domain specific an embedded system is designed for specific purpose only it will not do any other task for example a washing machine can only wash it cannot do that is designed for specific application in the same way certain embedded systems are specific to the domain for example a hearing aid is an application that belongs to the domain of signal processing so in this way the uh, embedded systems are of uh, two that is application and the domain specific the second one is reactive and real time certain embedded systems are designed to react to the events that occur in the environment so these events also occur real time that means even if uh, when the user uh, is um, giving the inputs it should respond at the same time or it should sense in a faster manner so that will be the real time or uh, for example uh, an air conditioner adjusts uh, its mechanical parts as soon as it gets a signal from its sensors to increase or decrease the temperature when the user operates it using a remote control so it has to be instant so that example is a real time right an example uh, the Uh, an embedded system uses sensors to take the inputs and have actuators to bring out the required functionality so it's not necessary that all embedded should be the real time in operation so embedded applications or the systems which are mission critical like flight control system anti brake systems are the examples of real time because the output should be the instant that is in the air controlling also so and if you apply the brake also it should be the instant right we cannot wait for some time and then it has to apply the brake mm. so it is all the real time things and it's need not that all embedded systems are to be real time okay the next one is the op the operations in the hash environment that is it has to operate in any kind of environment or um, for such Uh, for a given environment the embedded system will be designed for particular that environment see certain embedded systems are designed to operate in harsh environments like very high temperature in deserts or very low temperature of the that is of the mountains or extreme and also in the extreme rains as well so a few other more uh, things are like it has to operate in the dusty and high temperature vibrations and the shock environments ultimately it has to uh, withstand with all types of harsh environments it has it has to undergo so these embedded systems have to be capable of sustaining the environmental conditions it is designed to operate in so here we cannot uh, go for the compromise in the cost so also the proper shock absorption techniques should be provided to systems which are going to be commissioned in places subject to the high shock power supply fluctuations corrosion and component aging etc so this is all about the embedded systems operating in the harsh environment the fourth characteristics is the distributed certain embedded systems are part of a larger system and thus form components of a distributed systems these components are interdependent of each other but have to work together for the larger system to function properly see some embedded systems are designed in such a way that there will be a hundreds of embedded systems in a single 
device okay so each device will be performing its own uh, functionalities and together all those embedded systems perform uh, that is work for the common uh, goal to be reached so this is a meaning for example a car has many embedded systems connected to its dashboard each one is an independent embedded system yet the entire car, car be said to function properly only if all the systems work together so let me quote in another example apart from this car so another example is the automatic teller machine that is the atms which we all use an atm contains a card reader embedded unit responsible for reading and validating the user atm card transaction unit for performing for performing transactions a currency counter for dispatching or winding the currency to the authorized person and that the last the printer printer unit for printing the transaction details so each we can see that they are all independent embedded systems but they all work together to achieve the common goal so this is about the characteristic that is distributed the next one is the small size and weight an embedded system that is compact in size and has light weight will be desirable or more popular than that is than that of which is bulky and heavy we can quote a best example is our cell phones so always we buy the cell phones which are uh, very uh, light weight and which are not bulky we go for more slimmer cell phones right so these cell phones have the uh, and also we go for the maximum features with the low lower size and also the low weight so this is one of the important characteristics of embedded system so how much ever the size we can make it compact so that much of uh, 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 name will be there in the market or the society the next characteristic is the power concerns so one of the major concerns in the embedded system is a power concerns so it is desirable that the power utilization and the heat dissipation of any embedded system should be low that is if more heat is dissipated then additional units like heat sinks or cooling fans need to be added to the circuit so if more power is required that required then a battery of higher power or more batteries need to be accommodated in the embedded system so the more the power consumption the less is the battery life so this is one of the important characteristics of uh, embedded